I've seen that happen to, in people's lives continually. They make a goal, a goal that, the goal should be, how could I conceive of my life so that if I had that life, it would clearly be worth living, so I wouldn't have to be bitter, resentful, deceitful, arrogant, and vengeful. Like, that's sort of the bottom line, right? Because that's what endless failure does to you. It's not good. And, and, and that's what life without purpose and a goal does to you as well, because life is very hard. So you think, okay, well, I need to adopt a mode of being that would justify my suffering. And you can ask yourself that question. What would make this worthwhile? I quote Nietzsche, I think, in that chapter. He said, he who has a why can bear almost any how. That's a lovely line, man. I mean, it's a lovely line. And it's really worth thinking about. So you think, well, how, how do I manage all this misery and suffering and futility? It's like, well, I need to figure out what I would have to do in order to make that clearly worthwhile. And so then you have your goal and then you think, well, I need to move towards that incrementally because I'm kind of useless and can only do so much and maybe not even that. And, but all I have to do is be a little bit better than my, my miserable self yesterday. And that'll propel you forward very rapidly and, and you can succeed at it, which is also really lovely because why not set yourself up for success, you know, because otherwise you droop around like a number 10 lobster and, you know, that's just not good. You get all pinchy when that happens and it's not a good thing.